Hello, it's Clyde again at Vibrant Soap. Um, I was just outside looking at this miniature lime tree that I planted a couple years ago and it's loaded with honeybees flying through it. I thought, I have to do a remake of my honey soap, but I wanted to make a different twist on the design. So by watching the bees do their thing, I think I have gotten an answer to that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Okay, so I'm going to give a blend, blend up the oil and the honey. I put some honey in here. Um, sodium lactate, kaolin clay, and goat milk. Let's give that a good blend. Okay. Let's let it add the lye solution. I haven't said this in a while, but I, I really like to soap at about 100 degrees. So everything's about that temperature. Give that a little blend. I suspect that some of this, that this soap batch is going to turn a little brown with the sugar of the honey, but that's not going to bother me as long as it doesn't turn dark brown. So here's the shea butter. Last time I made um, this soap, it was just so um, creamy I couldn't believe it and I don't have any more but I did want to do a little different design it was rather plain before and I have a honey it's a little bit of a melon solution here of uh, fragrance it's turning uh, reddish brown already very interesting okay so let me get going with the rest of it. it smells awesome and I'll be right back okay so let me add he's having everything ready I am going to do this over the sink I'm adding to um, a bottle so I can squirt it into the design I've got orange and I've got black. Probably a little bit more orange. And then I'm going to add some of this titanium dioxide to the main batter. And keep a little for the top. And give that a blend. A little bit of a apricot color going here and I don't mind that for a honey soap at all. Okay, and I want something for the top. I want some lighter white. That's probably too much. Just for a little bit. And let me add the rest of the titanium dioxide to that. Okay. So we this one again. Plant this one. Okay. And the bottles, I don't need to blend, I just need to shake. I'm going to wipe off the soap that spilled on that. Good to have everything on hand that you're going to need. And if you plan for that, you still forget something. But try. You hear me shaking on the sides because I like to shake things like this over the sink. So if it spills, it spills in the sink and not all over the table. Ooh. Okay, so let me get my mold. And give this a little stir. I just need to pour a little bit in here. And I've recently used 
these partitions for another okay, so. Inserting them like a V shape. Biggest contrast would be the black uh, right next to the main batter that's already in there. So let me just put that in. Orange. Black. Orange. Black. So I'm just going to alternate. Don't even have to do this too carefully. Okay. Then I'm gonna kind of um, spoon some lightly on top of there before I take the partitions out. Carefully slip these out. Put them aside. And I'm going to add a little bit more of this. Okay, then this is the new part for me. I'm going to do a second one of those. I have a hunch that this is going to work out for me. Um, let me do exactly the same thing. Black. Orange. Just alternating. Save some for the top, so let me do this. Just enough to cover it. Pull the partitions out. So let's open there. down. Okay, I need to let things set up a little bit more. It's still a little liquid, so I'm going to turn off the camera and be right back as soon as it's hardened. Okay, so I'm going to, I use already most of my black, now I'm just going to put some orange on top. Okay, and for the effect I want to get, I want to make sure that that's more of a layer rather than more than little stripes. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
And let's see, get my spatula. Okay, I'm just going to put a thin layer of this white on there. Use a spoon to wipe that in. For the honeycomb defect, I'm going to push bubble wrap into the top. And I want to quickly say goodbye because my camera memory card is acting up. I don't know why it's saying it has no memory when I emptied it out. So I'll end like this and uh, I'm going to leave this in until it solidifies and come back and do a cutting video.